Hello everyone, welcome back to the Game and CPH channel. On today's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about soccer, uh, but mostly playing Factorio, just kind of let the brain cool down. Uh, we just had a soccer game, we won 3-1. to one. I'm exhausted, um, kind of physically, but obviously my brain is still going, so I'm going to play some video games, see if that will tire me out a little bit before going to bed, because we still got work tomorrow. All right, we got money to make, 9 to 5 to do, so... With that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and dive on into some more Factorio. Let's remove the background. Now, I started a brand new map because knowing me, I cannot just sit on one map. You know, I don't know why I do it, but I do it. Um, And I just, I like to just be on a certain map. So, we go again, this is the name of the map. That I uh, and I basically turned down basically all animals, all creatures. Um, so that's super cool and all. Um, oh my goodness, I'm so thirsty. So, right, 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 right. okay. I'm trying to construct a lot of these. Let's do eight and seven. I think we can do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, this will be perfect. So I buy these guys on down. So with this one, I am trying to go full force by doubling my iron production. Um, I run low on iron. So I am right now trying to double up that production. Best as I can. <clears throat> nope, 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 nope. We go again. Let's destroy this rock. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then I got some power poles. Put some a little bit bigger. Perfect. I like that. I like the three at a time mindset mentality. So this should technically be a 100% red line here, because I got 15 come from this side, 15 come from this side, okay? If everything is going, we should technically be putting 60 on this red. It's not looking like it's full, I could be wrong. It's not looking like it's all the way full, but... And then... This guy will split it into 30 and 30, and then they can go their separate ways. And then once they join here, we need to speed things up all over again. Because right now I have 60. Ooh, that's really close. Because basically, I want to make sure I have a full 30 going that way. That's the crucial part. So now I just need one of these to be a to be a double fast, which is going to require a splitter, which takes iron plates. What do you know? Why don't I snag one of those guys? This will be able to split the 60 rack. Boom. Now that is perfection, y'all. This should theoretically be able to take all of these guys, no problem. And it should be 100%. It may take a little bit of time to catch up because there are theoretically some kind of bottleneck happening but look at our base it is coming along really well I'm really enjoying it and things are looking super well at this point um yeah this is this was just clutch because my these production was definitely starting to, to dwindle a little bit so hopefully this will allow for 
More production? Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't have any defense. I am the defense, sadly. Oh my gosh, I'm losing the big boys. Oh, this is so annoying. Stop it, please. Please ask where you came from. Oh, I just lost two of those. Lost two drills. Okay. I did lose a power pole, which has indeed quite literally shut off all power. There we go. Okay. So now we're not going to be quite at 100% because, like they said, I lost two of those, and we can only build one while I'm missing iron plates. I can go grab some real quick. Back in, sir, yes. Boom. Right now the copper's still just running 30. I haven't needed too much copper, to be completely honest with you. So that's why I'm not too worried about that one. Um, this is perfect though. So where are they coming from? I have a lot of pollution. Oh, I have a lot going on. I have a bunch of crude oil there. Yeah, I kind of cranked up the uh, the percentages. So I got a massive 40 mil. Oh, 40 million, I love it. The idea was is I would save this section right up here to the train track so I could do a train system that dropped up here and I could flush the raw ingredients down and have them hit and join the bus system. That's what I don't like about my last one is my bus system, my train wasn't set up appropriately. Okay, so I feel like we're, we're refilling the gears. We're getting a lot more of them, okay? Which means that we're getting these, if I recall, these inserters take like five gears or just one. But um, that gives us the green, the green goes into that, and that's our technology. That's good, good, good. Yeah, see, it's the gears that we were lacking. And again, we just, there's a lot of gears needed, right? Like, gears are needed for a lot of things, for speedy conveyor belts, you know, to all sorts of things, so. I just accidentally eliminated that. That's awkward. My bad. Um, let's see. Like the speedy conveyor belts. All right, guys. What do we want to build next? What do I want to have mass produced next? Eventually, solar panels would be awesome to just, I might actually, I did a single line right here of the assembly machines, and then they just go into this box, and I only have 100 at a time. I thought that was brilliant. I can do the same thing with solar panels. Just do a line of one. That might be, uh, that might work. Question, though. Can I use better... Power bowls. I need a good amount of iron here. Let's do that. Consider capacity. Modular armor is going to take, if I recall, it takes like plastic. Oh, advanced circuits, which take plastic. Um, so that'll just be a while, so let's just go ahead and increase productivity, shall we? Um, let's go ahead and copy this idea. <clears throat> the solar panels is power, right? Like, that is a really super thing. Um, one, two, three, four? I guess we could just go three. Let's 
two, three, four. Oh, four works. Just one more time. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. That does not work for some reason. Um, all right, that does. We'll, uh, we'll make it work. Need so copper plates and steel plates to share. And then that's just going to take all electron, electron circuits, which is no problem. So copper and that. Copper and steel. I already got. Oh my gosh, I started incorrectly. Oh man, that'll piss me off. Hilarious though. Um, I do need to grab some inserters real quick. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And of course. I'm just curious, just how far can we go? I feel like it's still the same. You know, we're, we're just flirting with it, but it's all still the same in the end. I just need one more, brother. I just need one more. No, oh my gosh. So freaking far away. Oh, no, 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 you son of a... I do need to start putting walls, and I need to just go freaking kill those. Find that freaking nest. Oh my gosh, why are they so annoying? Nuisance and a half, man. So all I did is I came here to do stuff. I'm not a bad guy. So I don't think I'm a bad guy. <laughs> Need some power as well. I think I lost more than just two. Oof, I think I lost four. Yeah, we need, we need to figure out a defense up here. Oh, I only have two bullets left. Oh. What am I expecting? Hmm. Fingers crossed that uh, four bullets will at least keep them away long enough. It won't. I got my heavy armor right. Insert capacity almost maxed out. Set in the soul for max, shall we? We just need to collect the last. Is it just the last one powerful? 
So close. Right, let's go ahead and uh, build these guys real quick. You need to get changed to my good friend the solar panel. So in reality, I am okay right now, but I will eventually want to, you know, go a little more green. I think I have a little bit less of a um, footprint that way. I think that's the terminology used. stuff, I'll tell you that much. Mm. Go ahead and search the modular. That's fine. Okay. This is why I left a double gap, so that stuff like this would be fine, but uh, solar panels, copper and steel, oh, okay, oh, cool, cool. oh this will be perfect, I'll just zing this right there. Right there, like that. Hmm. Let's move this guy down a little bit further, shall we? That's the furthest we can go right here. Okay. There we go. I know it looks super ugly. It always does, but it'll be worth it. Right, it's steel and copper and electronic condos. <clears throat> is being so slow right now, and mouse is acting up. Okay, um, I got the 15th. We would probably thought about this better, I probably would have done. Red insert are going for green only. Perfect. That's all I want. I don't want a whole lot, I just want a good amount. Yeah, it takes advanced circuits, those take plastic. Plastic's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Like I'm just gonna research all this stuff. Okay. Look at that. We're getting ourselves some solar panels. And the nice thing is this will stop once it once it fills up, so. Yeah. <laughs> 
We got a lot of speedy, speedy belts now. I'd like to see that, man. That cheers me up. That really does cheer me up. I'm exhausted. Okay. Yeah, our research is just crushing right now, dude. This makes you really happy. All right, I should build an ammo. Ammo zone. Um, I just do single file. Ammo. Ammo don't require much. Two, three, four. Okay, there's a couple things in the way. Again. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm gonna change this over to ammo. We can remove the red. It's going to take any excess iron plates we got and run them through, so I don't need them to do them personally anymore. I think you need a good amount of inserters. Of course, I need me. Air belts. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna bring him over. We'll just join right on in. My favorite way of doing things, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do things. What are you doing? Um, I think I put those just to make sure. Right, I should put these all in place. So then it's easier clicking. of that. Well, that's not going to happen. This one. So we are not animals. You hear that? Oh, there's the energy accumulators. Perfect. Oh, hold up. Right. My apologies. You are how I'm going to get the resources in here. Totally forgot about that, my bad. As a matter of fact, there's a 5% chance you're going to go like that. So that's how we like to do it. Right? We like to keep it simple. I look. Oh, that was weird. Molten elegant, indeed. You just did a nice little split, huh? Well, uh huh? Now you. Give yourself the magazine. Now, how do we make accumulators? Batteries and iron plates. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna need that. Get some oil if we're gonna make some of them. Beautiful. Now, just for kicks and giggles, 
and because I would like to have a storage chest, <clears throat> I am going to have something storing these. So all I have to do is go like that, boom, I'm in, boom, click, boom, click, what, what happened? Oh, I didn't see you there, oh, oh, okay, oh, I got it, yeah, I'm boom clicking, that's the game plan, alright, good stuff, good talk, I think they got it. Basically all the way up until I'm ready to start making the red bullets, <clears throat> which I legit could, copper plate, steel plate, hell. Shoot, maybe that's just what I do. Should I just do that? What if I just... Can I just run that in? Well, screw that. It's regular bullets, copper plate steel, a lot of copper, so steel plates and firearm. We'll share. I will actually need to spread it a little bit. This idea though, this blueprint, very well work. I will just need to move it over to get some room. There is uh, uh, some trees in the way. I don't think they are contributing, but yeah. So normally I leave space, but these ones, since they're so close. Sure, we need a chemical pack first. Yeah, crap. <laughs> I mean, why not make the red? That's stronger. It does a lot more damage. Oops. Got it. You're got it. Got it. And the military science pack. I think this is the one. I mean, oh. Oh, I'm gonna need a double wheel. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna need a double one. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Take it back. Take it all back, take it all back. Although, actually, I might still be able to do something good with it. Just one second. Good idea. I think I just demolish all this real quick. Boom. Alright, guys, we have all the science research that we physically can. So we're going to copy this all over again. Get it up, and I'm going to give it one extra space for a, uh, an extra conveyor belt. There we go. So my hope was that these would help, and they don't sadly. That's too bad. That was that was ultimately the, the whole idea behind all that. You know what? That's all right. Shoot, 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 shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, of course, I'm getting destroyed. My turret only has so much health. Oh my god, they're all dying. If I build another turret, I will give it a lot more love. That's right, you guys need to come at me. Come at me, bro. I know there was damage done, but we can't be lazy. Let's go. I'm out of conveyor belts right now. Well, that's embarrassing. So I lost two plus my turret. Not bad. I mean, again, for not being here. Not bad. We're gonna go ahead and get some more iron plates. And move on. Hey buddies. Made 
gets pierced in the round. So hard to fall. It's gonna suck. Looks like he put up a good fight. Alright, back to normal. Nothing happened. Until the next time it happens and I get real upset. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Why the frick is that happening? I, I don't know. Hey, how's our, how is our power consumption, by the way? We're good. I like grab some solar panels. It's kind of pointless unless you get the, uh... Well, it's not completely pointless because, um... Still useful. Um, again, running on conveyor belts is so embarrassing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. That should be enough. I need iron gears. Oh, hey, look, we got plenty of them. Nice, that's awesome. Straight up ballers, man. Nope. Nope, not there. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it's on the wrong side. Oh, whatever. Even phased, man. Not even phased, y'all. Ooh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now what goes into this again? We got five copper plates. So copper plates will get full scent. And that is not up for debate. And then is it steel? Yeah, so steel. Hey man, how you doing? Good, 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 good. Split you down here. Okay, no worries. No worries. Another splitter. Put you down here, okay. It's all good. All good. Yeah. Um, let's put copper again right there. I need to do. No, 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 no. Got a better idea. I don't know if it's better. I, it's just I have another idea. There's a little bit of jumping through hoops. Sadly. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little tough. I'm not happy. Say, but I think it's, I think it's gonna make it. It makes it. That's the best important part, right? Okay. Ski. Here is here is what we got.
just like that. It's super hideous. But it don't even matter. Because it's doing what it's got to do. And now we're selling heavy freaking ammo. Oh dang, I'm about to run into my oil. We may need to uh, move this bus sideways and go back up. Because look at all this room, right? I could easily run this bus way over here and then, you know, run back up. What I need to do is I need to start making some freaking explosives. Yeah, buddy. This is one of those times where I can run all this together. Simply split them up later. You know what I mean? But I assure you, I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy while I'm spinning them sideways. Nothing's going to be happening. start it a little bit sooner. Oh. Really? The, that is getting hit right now? Dude, are you freaking kidding me? That's a lot of freaking ore. I get it. Okay, I get it. Shut up. Shut up. I get it. All my stuff is getting destroyed. So I put in the gun with a lot of ammo. And now they're just like, nah, we're good. We found an even easier target. I'm like, no, you don't. I'm about to go back. No, I. I was pretty sure I turned off like all bad guys for this very stinking reason. I don't like to spend my time stopping bad guys. I like to build. Simple as that. Building is a lot of fun. Build too much. Antonio, hey, what's up, man? Nothing much, Antonio. How you doing, man? How are you this evening? I personally am exhausted. We played a soccer game tonight, and I am pooped. Real needs a replacement for Ramos, but you can step up the line. <laughs> Ramos, Real. Yeah, man, you know it. I can step into that position, no problem, brother. Is our power still good? Okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that ten? Ooh, that's the big oof. We lost ten of our mother humpers, dude. Breaks my heart. Make it work. If we're gonna make it work, then we need some freaking guns, man. Yeah, take your time. No rush. No more. I'm gonna give him the uh, the good ammo as well. Those piercing rounds. What's the objective for this game? So this game, um, let me save it. Basically, you land and you are trying to do the research tree all the way to the bottom, where you are able to build a rocket ship and escape so that's your ultimate goal so you collect resources you research technologies to then basically become more efficient more effective and work your way towards that rocket ship um, but you can also unlock 
artillery, spider trons going around killing. And if you look at the map, there's these little bug nests. So like right down here, there's a little bug nest over here. And this is my pollution. As that touches them, the bugs will actually evolve and become more difficult. And it irritates them, so they come and they send waves at me. So you try to like build up your base, go full Hamski, um, and yeah, get off the planet that you crash landed on. So it's kind of a fun one. It's a little grind early on, but there is a tech where you get uh, robots, and that just that's a game changer. These little um, construction robots, where are they at? Right here, they are the best ever. Um, you just build grids, and they will go grab all your all resources and just take them to them and build for you. It's amazing. Amazing. I'm the reason everybody fired up this season. I'm grabbing all my deadly ammo because holy crap, we need it. Might as well grab a bunch of that too. Nice. All right, so we are moving and shaking. Although I may need to actually fix this a little bit. So let's do this really quick. I hate to do it because I hate going backwards. Nothing more frustrating than going backwards. Uh, slow delete, slow delete. I like these skill tree grinding. Yeah, for sure. It's fun. Um, I recommend starting with like a low amount of bugs. You can kind of uh, set that um, kind of a setting in the pregame. Um, and then it's, yeah, every time it's a uh, randomly generated, so kind of every map's a new map, which is always super exciting. But yeah, no, I would definitely pick it up. It's, I think I put in over 80 hours. Um, I beat it, but I have definitely replayed it multiple times. Um, not necessarily to completion, because I will start replaying it, and I'll be like, man, I was so dumb, I should have done that different. And so then I'll just start a brand new map and replay it again, and do the same thing, do the same thing, do the same thing. Oh, no, 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 stop that, stop that. What are you doing? Come back here. I can turn all these. There we go. Now this should be fine because basically the good thing is that there are so many different ways. Exactly, there's so many different ways you can go about it, um, which is really cool. And there's several content creators that I think have played this game, um, or obviously games like these. There's another really fun one coming out. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I saw Kibitz do a live stream. He's a content creator about it. Um, they gave him an early access key, I believe. I think it's, you can play the demo, and I think I played the demo on Steam. But very similar, but you have a mech with like a freaking chainsaw or a blade and a machine gun, and you're just like harvesting resources and killing freaking aliens. It's, it's pretty epic looking. <clears throat> So I cannot wait for that game to go live. All right, nice. And then of course you can like build these out on assembly machines, but you can upgrade them to a level two and then later a level three. All sorts of fun stuff, man. Let's do this. Yeah. No. I'm just going to go check up here because sometimes you got to just kind of restock your turrets. Make sure they're doing okay. Yep, see this one got hurt a little bit. So I'm actually going to place another turret close to him. And just hope that between the two of them, they can just be murdering. Perfect, yeah. So th they should be able to to survive a while. Now I'm going to place another gun turret down here because this is a crucial part of my base. I'll give it all my ammo. Perfect. Uh, dang, that does sound pretty fun. Yeah, it, it looks really fun. I can't wait. I think it's supposed to be released maybe end of the year, Q4 possibly. 
Uh, when is the horde coming? So it is random. Again, in my settings, I put them down to like really not very frequently. Um, and you can actually go take out nests. So like, as you can see over here, I'm assuming there's a nest over here somewhere that I don't see because this is kind of where they attack from. And you can go wipe out the nest, take them out um, at their home base. So then they don't send as you know, they don't send them as often to you until your pollution expands and maybe touches the next base or that base down there. And then they'll start coming more frequently and they'll also evolve. So, but yeah, they, they, it's just random. And honestly, if I have good defenses, I'll get an alert down here saying that my defenses are attacking someone. But in a good defense, I won't, you know, be notified that anything's been destroyed because all my guys will hopefully take care of it. Next thing I want to do is oil, oil production. Yes, how many do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I counted eight. Go ahead and build eight. Chop down these trees that are in the way. They will just become a nuisance as I'm trying to build and develop. And then I'm going to need some factories, oil refineries. I'm going to need that stone bricks. I don't have any stone bricks being made whatsoever. I can do that, though. I just never even considered it until they just said I need stone bricks. <laughs> Oopsies. My bad. I'm going to grab some of these iron pipes real quick because we will need a lot of that for oil. Um, how big is the map? Uh, the map is its huge. I'm pretty sure it is literally this big. Like, there's a lot you can explore if you want to. Um, I think for the most part, I have all the resources I need. Uranium, I think I'll need at some point. I got oil already, you know, next to my base. Um, copper or iron or coal or oil. Um, so I think uranium might be one of the last uh, resources you need. So we should be, should have everything I need. Um, so yeah, that should be should be good. All right, I need to oh, make stone bricks, which is just a hand in the butt. It's all right. We got this. So you can copy and paste blueprints, which is super super efficient. Um, one, two, three, four. I was not aware of that when I was like first playing the game. <laughs> So that, that's a lesson I learned real quick, is you want to do that. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to have, where's my coal coming from? Coal will come from over here. Okay, so my resources will come in from this side. And go out this way. I should have grabbed more conveyor belts. We will go find some. Uh, wow, that's such a clutch. Oh yeah, dude. Are there ways to reduce pollution or do you, or you just have to make good defense that you develop? So I believe that your machines reduce, your machines create pollution. I think it might be like, see those um, steam um, power output. I can't remember if they, if they're really bad at pollution. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, production stats pollution so I can see what machines so my electric miners are now if I leave trees if you don't destroy trees then they will absorb some pollution which is great and that's what you want right you want trees to absorb the bad pollution um, but this kind of shows you an overview of what's being the most polluting thing for my electric mining drills I'm not sure if there's a tech later on that you can potentially use um, to reduce that feature or not? That's a great question. If there's like a reduction to pollution feature at all. Um, but yeah, so that is that is something to be definitely aware of. I need some stone, aren't I? Yep, yep, yep. It's all right. Should be some up here. I have quite literally 
left this up here forever. So I could craft. Do I need to get more? And one more. So 48. And then I'm going to actually need to build an electric range real set up up there afterwards as well. Alright, let's go ahead and build these power poles. So just using the blueprint, you know, crap, making things nice and easy. I know exactly where to place everything. Now, when you have robots, when you place a blueprint, your robots will go find the items and will go place them for you. And it is in freaking incredible. You can build a backpack robot or you can just build a massive robot grid and it's super awesome they will like literally when you have the robot grid if you you set up certain bins to hold items and they will go and find the items and bring them here to it it's just so nice all of a sudden you're just building blueprints and your robots are manufacturing bases for you the wrong guy all right Fix that later. It. Obviously not perfect sometimes, and if you obviously build in a place where something else was, it will remove it from your blueprint, but that's alright. Because the great thing is, is this once um, once I just start dragging then it's just perfect. Just mass produces. And you just wrap up? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not sure if there's anything else that can really work it. Some power. Alright, so these are coal burners, stone furnaces. They're going to burn on coal, so I have to do it interesting little setup not too wild and crazy but I will have to go like this like this then once I get close enough here I will go like oh you know what we should probably move this down a little bit now that I think about it should probably go more like right here. Okay. That maybe? That's the idea. I might need to do it a little further out so I'm not quite as pressured against that. There we go. And this will allow me to split the stone and the coal onto the single frames. Oops which will be great and necessary. So I'm just going to go ahead and go like this. I will allow the coal to go ahead and split. I would go crazy in this game though because, oh I know dude, and that's what I always try to do is I try to keep things as straight as possible. Um, obviously sadly I ran to cliffs over here which was kind of a bummer because then I had to <laughs> kind of redo my whole bus system, but I always try to line them up early on. So like this, I line up with this, with this, and then I kind of had to scoot over a little bit because I need to make more room. But yeah, the symmetry dude is perfection. It's so great. Um, but here, you can see the coal going in. These guys will feed, put the coal in, so then all I have to do is bring in stone to make stone bricks. So, first thing we're going to do is try and pick up enough iron to make plenty of stone and gears so because I have a great infrastructure I have a lot of resources I can just go grab 5 10 15 20 25 30 perfect I might not need 30 but that's the dream right the dream would be to have a total of 30 um, how is our power still good perfect I also left plenty of room for expansion with steam, if need be. Haha, glad I'm not the only one I know, dude. No, literally, symmetry is 
the best part about these kind of games. There's a game called Satisfactory, which I also really enjoy. It's super fun. Um, it's all about 100% efficiency with your factory. Literally, that's all the game's about. Um, and it's a really good one. So let's do you here. Here, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's 12. Okay. Let's do the same thing over here. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Only problem is now I have this awkward gap. Hmm. I mean, I kind of have an idea, but I don't know if it will work. It might. We can try it. I'm just going to do this really quick. Grab that. Move in. That'll give me a little bit more room. And then I go like this. Like that. And same thing on this side. Might need to use the slightly longer range. This would be good. That is a pog one. Look at that. That thing just covered like half of them. All right, go ahead and go back to the tiny. Boom. Okay. So now this is. Hold up. 12. Oh, I am short. My bad. We can think about that. And zero resources. Oh, uh, hold up. Can I actually do this? Sure. This might go, might be too many coming from that side. It's close. The symmetry did not work there. Oh man, let's do that. It's close to perfection. Um, that is a really good name, a little satisfactory. No, you should you should check it out. It's on Steam and Epic Game Store. Um, it's it is a very very fun game. I think I've sunk hundreds of hours under that one. No joke. Um, it's it's so easy to just play it and, and enjoy. Just trying to think here what the f what's the best strategy probably to turn and i'm out of conveyor belts i have way too much stone not good no i do have my fancy level two conveyor belts but those aren't really needed at this moment Later on, as you upgrade things, like I have them here because I have to, I literally need all of these iron plates. So I have, I'm able to do, make, create two sets of these. Um, and it's, it's basically 100%, which is great. Makes you feel really good when things are 100% uh, efficient. Alright, buddy, you need to leave. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on down. Drop him on in here. We'll just do a quick turn and burn. Oh, again. 
accidentally grabbed him. My apologies. Maybe two more, possibly. Yeah. Uno. Dos. Oh, yeah. And that's it. So this will bring all of our stone down, and then stone will go into here. It'll get split into two, one going up, one going down. These will then feed into these stone furnaces, and we will send it out. Our end product will go out and down. We will want it to go down. Where? I'm not sure yet. Very, very far. I might actually send it all the way down to join the others. Nope. Okay. I'm like one research away from Cliff Edge. Okay, so I'm getting attacked right now. You can see by the exclamation point right here. But it's saying two turrets are engaged with the enemy, which is good. And now it's gone, which tells me that my turrets probably destroyed the enemy. Be right back. Sounds good, man. Yeah, they freaking annihilated it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Right, these take stone bricks. That's what I needed stone bricks for. It's the oil refineries. Now I'm getting. <laughs> Keep needing more and more. So good though. This is, this is. It wasn't as bad as I thought. And yes, we had to go a freaking mile, but looking at our end result, very happy. Just gonna pick up all the ammo while I'm here. Yeah. I don't care about having ammo with a pistol. I don't use my pistol. I want to use my pistol. Okay. So here's the thing. I... Total number of um, pipes you can have, you know, because obviously normally fluid pipes can only hold so much fluid, and I can't remember what that number is, but I do want storage tanks in case of, in case I'm pumping faster than I'm actually consuming. It's always good to have a storage tank or two. So let's just let's just put them back here. We'll put them back to back so they are um, able to feed off of one another. I do like my writing. Okay, so these two storage tanks are combined, so they will both fill up. Um, as a matter of fact, why don't we go ahead and see? The oils are working. isn't working. And last one down here. So these guys are pumping 26.6 per second, 17 points. So each one's not exactly the same, but they are pumping a good pace. These can hold up to a hundred basically per second if I had to guess. Um, 
So technically, I feel like I should be overthrown, over, like filling them up. But so these will fill up eventually. Uh, I I'm back. How long does it usually take to build for her? I would say, like if you were going pretty hard and being really focused, like twenty to thirty hours. Um, because like this might look like I have a lot going on already. If you look at my base and like you're looking at this map, and you're like, dang, we already got a lot built. It's it's nothing. I can uh, here watch. I will show you my game that I beat it. Is it survive? Here it is. New save attempt. And this is this is my base. Like this. And this is all drone stuff I have. I have a bunch of trains going out grabbing stuff, trains going out grabbing stuff, you know, and I and my whole base is walled off. Look at that oil and godfather Bobo. Um, like this is this is my base. I have robots with me. Like I have a tank I can drive. Um, oil manufacturing, just all this stuff, and like most of the conveyor belts are upgraded to like level three and you know here we're making a bunch of what are we making cannon shells like crazy stuff you can make um but these are the robot robo ports um that once watch i'll put down a blueprint i'll just i'll just copy this and paste it and my little robots my own personal ones were able to find because they saw i had these transport built in my inventory I might not actually be producing these red ones anywhere. <laughs> I might not. My bad. But, um... Oh, right, and then you can demolish as well. So let's do that again. So you can set up, they go, they build. And I can be like, ah, I don't want that, dude. Take it away. And they pick it up. Now, if you were to do a big, massive copy and paste and you don't have the resources with you, then these RoboPorts will actually come and they will grab resources from other places and bring them and you just saw i don't know if you saw it, one one robot came and actually gave me a hug um that's because i have mine set to where i don't want more than 50 inserters in my inventory so if i have 52 robots will come grab the inserters from me and if you look up here right here these red boxes are where they can grab from so if all i wanted was to just build a poop ton of inserters. And I don't have enough. They're going to bring me inserters, but they'll also build them. So they brought me two. And they're bringing me some more. So that's another cool aspect. And they can charge in other places. I can hit demolish on all this. And they just grab it, they take it, they remove it, there's nothing to it, man. It's pretty darn cool. So getting to the robot part is crucial in like really advancing your base significantly. So and look at all this power. <laughs> These are all little power storages. Just in case, man, just in case, you know? I like to accumulate, I like to save up on my energy. Um, I swear I had a solar farm somewhere. Did I start to create power in a different way? Because there is, I think, like a nuclear reactor. See, look at this bus system, dude. Oh man, this thing was huge. Absolutely bonkers how massive I made this. Um, some people actually put like concrete underneath. If you want, you can. Um, what is actually providing my power? I'm super confused. There is uranium. Hmm. Well, I don't know what it is. Something's providing us power, which is great. Because <laughs> we need it. Oh, it's so funny. But, um, yeah. So this is, like, what you end up getting to. Is this massive base. Um, which is just... Just massive. Electric furnaces, no more coal. You just go straight in with power. Robo ports for days, train stations for days, you know what I mean. Like it's it's nutty, dude. Look at these just massive lines at full speed to fill this this bus we got going on. 
uh, Earth in 50 years. I don't know if we're building these robots anymore. <laughs> That's insane. Are the hordes even a threat at that point? No. So I should have... Oh, here's my power. Nice. Yeah, look at all this pull crap and a solar farm. Okay. Um, no. So let's see. There should be a wall somewhere. Where the frick is my wall? Um, if you look at the map, I mean, the hordes are just really far away. Like, look at that huge, that's a big nest. Um, they're really far away, and I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of turrets. So ideally, early on, um, if you're playing, like, a fairly harsh one, you want to wall off your base, or where you plan on building early on, and then what you do is you build up turrets, and then you build a conveyor belt around your whole inside of your fountain, inside of your walls, and those conveyor belts are going to take ammo constantly to your turrets so that your turrets are going to fire shoot bang bang and then they're also going to be perfectly replenished and being constantly replenished um with ammo as they're fighting but yeah i'm not sure why uh or how i'm not being attacked anymore did i because i don't think i have any walls built maybe i just went out and wiped them out that Probably would be what I did. If I had to guess. I'm trying to look. These might, these like yellow. Oh, here they are. Yep, so we got some turrets. I just set them up. Laser turrets, normal turrets. Um, kind of next to where they would normally attack. Because normally when the bugs attack, they will attack in the exact same spot. Again and again. Um, for the most part. So you just have to kind of build defenses in those certain areas. So I have turrets down here because this is where they'll normally attack um, quite frequently. And then what you could do is you could really just like build a wall and wall this off if you wanted. So, but yeah, that is that is the big base, and that's what you're going for, man. Damn, OP starts right here, yeah. <laughs> but dude, it's really fun. They even have mods in the game. I tried to download some, didn't work for me. But um, yeah, again, I highly recommend it. It's a super fun game. I actually need to go to bed now, but thank you so much for stopping by there, Antonio. Appreciate hanging out and chatting. Um, you know, I, I apparently have 86.8 .8 hours according to Steam. Oof. That is a lot of hours we got going on. So, but uh, yeah, Antonio, thanks for stopping by and chat, man. April, I have to go to bed now. I'm pretty tired. I got to work in the meeting. I do have work in the morning as well. So, hey, man, have a good night. Thanks again for stopping by. And remember, until next time, maximize those deductions and pay less in taxes. Have a great night, Antonio.